and uh, coming to the fourth poem this is the longest poem uh, among the lucy poems so i'll take a bit of rest and i'll ask uh, tanmay to explain one stanza yes sir three years he grew in sun and sour then nature's lovelier flower on earth was never shown the child i to myself will take she shall be mine and i will make a lady of my own so basically uh, the poet william wordsworth says about the lucy lucy was uh, uh, although living in a highland uh, hill top house but here uh, he actually said about lucy that lucy was uh, completely uh, unrivaled by any man or woman but uh, here uh, lucy was uh, brought up by the nature and uh, when uh, when the poet says about that in the first line that three years he grew in sun and sour so it generally indicates that uh, lucy was uh, only brought up by the uh, general uh, general sun heat and the general stream like that as we all know that uh, all the human beings need the sunlight and uh, fresh water to live so basically the poets uh, bring out that contrast that lucy was also uh, completely dependent uh, on the nature when uh, she was very young and uh, till her uh, till her three years nature completely uh, taken her as uh, as her child and uh, took care of uh, lucy then nature said a lovelier flower and uh, nature also said about uh, here uh, here the poet personified nature as uh, the mother of lucy i think and uh, then nature said a lovelier flower and here the nature uh, called lucy as a beautiful flower as we see in the very beginning of the lucy poem uh, lucy was compared with the rose on earth was never shown the child i to myself will take and uh, the earth uh, that's mean the mother earth or uh, the nature uh, tells that uh, this child i to myself will take that's mean uh, lucy lucy was taken care by the earth or this planet or this uh, uh, mother nature by herself she will take care uh, lucy about uh, like, uh, like her own mother she shall be mine and i will make a lady of my own and uh, here mother nature said about lucy that she shall be mine all about lucy all the necessity what all the necessities of lucy's whatever she needed uh, to being a good woman good lady uh, to a, in her life i will provide her i will provide her and uh, i will t- i will make Uh, i will make her uh, a beautiful lady uh, in in uh, in her future life is that sir yeah absolutely uh, it's a kind of a satirical line i feel like uh, those people are very good they should not remain on the earth <laughs> it shows like that <laughs> sir is that explanation <laughs> okay sir? yeah absolutely right okay sir very, very well explained so the nature says the child i to myself will take she shall be mine and i'll make a lady of my own so she is that much beautiful she is that much good that nature is going to take it back what does uh, words was want to say here that all those good be good people should not remain on the earth <laughs> <laughs> okay. so how she yeah. died lucy that was a mystery ma'am till the last uh, poem you will unable to identify that how lucy was dying okay oh let's find uh, let okay. us see whether how she dies okay sir okay so uh, in the and next what is the relation are, sir to the wordsworth it, it is also not still, clear still still it's a mystery oh my sir, god like, think, so much negative that... capability sir <laughs> <laughs> sir i think that it might be carolyn bellen uh yeah maybe ha huh. she is the lover na yeah. lover no, or daughter she, she, daughter she was yes. the daughter 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 ha huh. yeah. yes she was the daughter whom she left whom she left uh, during the french war and came back to england 
ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் of lucy with the nature but now in the second stage i is talking about his own relationship with lucy when he says myself will to my darling be both law and impulse and with me so it was the nature's choice to take the lucy back but what is my duty that is very important here says that uh, by both law according to law what is my duty my duty is to go in pain go in grief so i'll do my duty so uh, you can see here here how nature wanted this little girl for herself uh, lovely as she was but he himself would need to respond to this loss of uh, his beloved so how he is going to respond to the loss of his beloved when he says that he will be both uh, according to the law and according to the imp- uh, impulses he will do her duty he will react in the way he is expected to react and he will do the things the way he is supposed to do the things the girl in rock and in plain so that girl lucy maybe after that somewhere lying in the rock maybe she might be on the plain ground maybe she is inside the earth buried or might be gone into the heaven in glade and bower so she might have gone into uh, a passage somewhere in the forest glade means uh, passage in the forest so she might be have gone in the forest or she might be somewhere uh, residing in the bedroom bower means uh, the bedroom inside the earth so she may be anywhere and shall feel an overseeing power so he implies that as he walks the earth uh, as he looks into the heavens he will feel her presence all around overseeing power her presence are like an overseeing power and he reveals that he will either to kindle or restrain that means he reveals that he will either kindle that feeling or restrain from this feeling it is his choice according to the law and impulse again comes so whether he can have that feeling he can groom that feeling or he can restrain from it he can escape from that feeling uh, depending upon the time and the circumstances in which those feelings are arising in the third stanza he said that uh, she shall be sportive as the fawn fawn means the animal deer here so she was as sportive as a deer, as a deer and that wild with glee across the lawn so she was always jumping like a deer jumping in the glee across the lawn like that wild fawn that like that wild deer or up the mountain springs or may she may go to the springs of the mountain in the previous uh, strangers we saw that there are some uh, fountains some uh, small rivers springs are there so she may be uh, up to that spring and hers shall be the breathing balm and hers the silence and the calm of mute insensate things so she would also enjoy the silence and the calmness and the uh, speaker finds a lots of comfort in this ideas when the mute insensate insensate means unconsciousness things so those unconscious things when they are muted she feels silence and calmness so here basically uh, the speaker believes that uh, the physical ability of lucy was to be in the silence and the calmness when she was in her unconsciousness 
सर एज वी कैन वी कैन ऑल्सो डिफाइन इट लाइक दैट ना सर दैट नेचर हुज सपोर्ट हर एज अ मदर सो मे बी द मदर नेचर ऑल्सो टीच हर दैट हाउ टू बी कम लाइक द रिवर स्पिंग एंड लाइक दैट yeah yeah that is also true she is like a calm uh, she is connected to the nature Obviously, so maybe the nature also uh, teach him that you should be calm uh, if you grown to be a lady that uh, that time also the calmness should be within you yeah yeah that is also true okay, okay moving on to next stanza the floating clouds their state shall lend to her so uh, in the previous stanza we saw that three years he grew in sun and shower and now he is continues to imagine that uh, now lucy what no, lucy is doing he imagines that uh, her floating she is floating on the clouds and watching those on earth their state shall lend now she is watching the things on earth because now she is floating in the cloud to her for her the willow bend nor shall she fail to see so what is uh, she is not failing to see even in the motions of the storm grace that shall mold the maiden's form by silent sympathy so he imagines that she should never fail to see the silent sympathy he feels for her so whatever the silent sympathy the speaker or the poet has she will never uh, fail to see those sympathy contained by the speaker when she is uh, she is dead now she is floating on the clouds still she is able to see her beloved the sympathy the silent sympathy of her beloved lots of comparison are done so here it says the two stars of midnight now the speaker imagines that Lucy shall be uh, dear one and uh, uh, shall be dear one to his stars even. So the stars of midnight shall be dear. So now she has gone up in the sky, floating like a cloud. Now she is near to the stars. So the uh, stars of the midnight should also be dear to her, and she uh, she, uh, she shall lean her ear in many a secret place, where. rivulets dance their way bored round so it's kind of some heavenly things uh, where uh, now she is in the sky in many uh, there are lots of secret places some heavens hells so there are many secret places that the poet is not aware about where uh, rivulets dance their way bored round and beauty born of murmuring sound shall pass into her face so uh, it's a kind of uh, uh she is uh, when she is going uh, in the rivulets dance so uh, this rivulets dance uh, means uh, uh, some streams or some small rivers are there in those secret places around which uh, she is dancing rivulets dance their way bored round so uh, round and round she may be dancing towards those rivulets and beauty born of murmuring sounds so some murmuring sound are coming out of those rivulets some murmuring sound are coming out of those streams and that is passing into her face and vital feelings of delight shall rear her form to a stately height that's a kind of again a very good line vital feelings of delight so in this stanza the speaker reveals his belief that although lucy is no longer alive in earthly terms she will still experience the vital feelings of delight shall rear her form to a stately height as she grows up into her stately heights and into maturity her virgin bosom swell such thoughts to lucy i'll give while she and i together live here in this happy till so uh, it's a kind of imagery created here the imagery of her rearing her form to stately height now and 
Now, her virgin bosom swelling reveals that uh, his belief uh, that wherever she is, the nature has taken her. She will continue to grow up. Wherever she she has gone, she is uh, she will grow up. Such thoughts to Lucy, I'll give. And he says that with all feelings of life, uh, to give these thoughts to Lucy, whatever the thoughts he is coming to the mind of the author, he will go to give. Lucy, uh, he says the thoughts to Lucy. I'll give so whatever the thoughts is coming to the mind of the author, he will give those thoughts every day to Lucy. That means he will uh, talk to Lucy in his conscience. Still, Lucy is not there, but he will continue talking to Lucy by uh, continue giving thoughts to Lucy. That means she will continue wherever she goes while she and I together live. so when he will be talking to lucy it will be like they are living together here in this happy dell so they will be living together in this uh, happy time happy moment so uh, and this is the last stanza does nature speak the work was done so it's a final stanza uh, the speaker refers back to the nature and he says that the nature speaks the nature is authority in the situation and she says that the work was done and lucy was no longer needed on on earth for whatever the reason for whatever the purpose lucy was sent on the earth that work was done what nature is speaking when nature is taking her back in the previous stanza we saw that nature is uh, like a, a god mother of lucy so now the nature see is telling that whatever the purpose was there for lucy the work is done how soon my lucy's race was run she died and left to me so now the speaker is mourning over this uh, situation and he uh, exclaims that how soon my lucy race was run and he is cleverly grieving when he said that she died and left to me so she has died and she has left me alone in the absence of her uh, this heat this calm and quiet sea so when she died uh, she left this uh, everything calm and quiet the memory of what has been and never more will be so it's a kind of uh, living a vital and fulfilling eternity so the speaker chooses uh, to end this line with grief that he feels in knowing that what has been never more will be what has already been in the memory now it will not be there it will not be there more in into his memory so this was a fourth poem 